Hello Warrior Class, in Ueda Sokol School today, we're studying Module 3, Murashige's Revolt, Ueda Sokol's first battle. Araki Murashige was a retainer to Ikeda Katsumasa, head of the powerful Ikeda clan of Setsu province. Under Katsumasa, Murashige sided with Oda Nobunaga, following Nobunaga's successful 1568 campaign to establish power in Kyoto. Murashige became lord of Ibaraki Castle in 1573 and gained further notoriety through military exploits across Japan. That is, until Murashige was accused of sympathies to the Mori clan, one of Nobunaga's enemies. In November 1578, Murashige was besieged at Itami Castle for rebelling against Nobunaga. He held out for one year before the castle fell in 1579. In this final battle, Ueda Sokol's lord, Niwa Nagahide, attacked Itami Castle with Sokol serving on the front line. Sokol was wounded assailing the castle wall, and fellow soldier Choshi Katsunari noted the ferocity of Sokol's attack in his account of the battle. Nagahide's army attacked the main gate of the castle. Sokol attempted to traverse the castle wall, but an enemy soldier spotted him and speared Sokol in the thigh. Sokol fell to the ground and was quickly pulled from the scene by his fellow soldiers. Many people were impressed by the courage displayed by Sokol. The attack on Itami Castle marked Sokol's first battle. He was 16 at the time. Meanwhile, Araki Murashige escaped, but not without losing his wife and children, around 200 of his vassals, and his famous Araki Korai Chawan. The Chawan was passed to Soeki, aka Rikyu, who was Nobunaga's principal tea master at the time. After his escape, Murashige took his tonsia and lived the rest of his life as a notorious teaist. Ironically, Murashige studied under Rikyu and became one of his seven sages. Warrior class, dismissed!